two, one, Treyarch never misses. Here we go, multiplayer gameplay. Finally, the day I've been waiting for for two years. Today, we're gonna to be reacting to the Black Ops 6 official reveal trailer. We have a very great in-depth look at the insane movement that's gonna be in this game. Three lane maps, they show us some of the maps. Classic Prestige is finally back after like five years. I, I can't even name everything off the top of my head. I am genuinely still speechless after watching it like an hour ago. I hope you guys watch this whole thing and I would love to hear what you guys think. Kata is so back, man, and so am I. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and click the thumbs up button because the things we do in Black Ops 6, it's gonna be things you will not want to miss out on, all right? With all that being said, man, the official reveal trailer of Black Ops 6, here you go. What's that, an M4 or something? Juggernaut? Woo! Oh my god. I hope this campaign is better than MW3's, because that game was MW3's campaign. Replay levels to see them all. Oh my god, man. The graphics on this look insane. Like up to par with Modern Warfare 2019. We're excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. So whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach. Line them up right, you can take them both down with one shot. Nice and quiet. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of power enemy 16. combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. Bison. Roots, push on players' location and force them to think on their feet. We've created certain missions where we give you a high-level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. That's 74, you man. One oh, it's so nice to see that back. The from the Black Ops universe. RCXD, oh. tranquilizer trap, adrenaline stem, Ooh. knife. All right. Disruptor. Okay, that's like in the current game. C4s. Frags. Omni movement. Black Ops 6, our goal is to create a more connected experience. Oh, Matt Scrantz, I miss you, man. Across every single mode. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, we dude. Every corner to innovate and Holy cow. Signature Black Ops experience for our players. Dude. The movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're no redefining way. movement across the entire game. For oh. the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and what? move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. Dude. This unlocks the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion from the beginning we started with you can't do this thing why and then realize people actually move that way what happens if we get rid of that construct and then instantly it opened up like oh if I'm you can speechless. sprint in any direction then you can dive in any direction you can Dude. slide in any direction which then oh. led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together the plays you can make with movement like this is a ridic look at this what It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game, whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. We truly believe that once you experience Omni movement, there's no going back. I hope there's no going back. This looks insane, dude. Yeah, that's some new movement to learn, man. That's gonna be sick. Which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. All right. These can be enabled in player options and they're broken down into settings. three categories. Sprint assist, mantle assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we want all players to focus on what they want to do. I didn't see that pull up thing he just mantled. That was cool. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. 
That's gonna we be looked at other so genres cool, like man. racing games where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking okay. that thing and again. it to our own movement options. I don't think this is a one-size-fits-all thing, and I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. LED. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions, so we, now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. Wow. Attention to detail, so very... I, I, I messed up. Players' movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. A great example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's going to dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's That's dynamic, sick. it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing the room. Wow. It won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that Dude, same the corner. detail's insane. We are constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. The Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players yeah. on what they need when they need it. The UI the designer. Is no different. From the mini map to the ammo widget to in-game Oh, there's so much to dissect here. Metals are back! Combines some of our best designs. Oh my god, metals! Streamlined experience. I know. Oh, dude, I've been for asking for metals forever to come back. will be able to change their HUD in dramatic Hell ways yeah. to suit their needs. Wait, instance, you can move your mini map around? A layout optimized for their setup. Or maybe you nah. want to be centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play hardcore anywhere or finally put the minimap in the bottom left? Those are options as well. No way. Not only does the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. As players track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock, just, Black Ops this? 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat and Gunsmith. where player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. Look at the UI. Th their names are like this. It's vertical. Oh my God, I'm so high. I'm just so happy they're listening, man. This is so cool. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Yes. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community for how we used to handle prestige. Yes. Traditional prestige is back in Call of Duty with he Black said Ops it. 6. We've pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey again. Oh my god. Black Ops 6 will have 10 prestiges each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status. Players oh who make it through God. Prestige 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels to climb through no. hey. and a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. The full Prestige system is available on day one in Black There's Ops something 6. at the end. There's a reason to hit level 1000. There's something there. God, my heart is filled with happiness. We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking See how the three for the player, team. different players are like still very aggressive. There's no stealth, like dude sitting back camping. That lens of Love that. These play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning theater mode is with back. Black Ops 6. Now I said we're only getting a taste of MP today, Damn. but of course that means you're going to get some early details on maps. Maps. Tell us what's up. 
We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. We've got 12 core 6v6 and four strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. What do players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane maps. We've three lanes! Thank you! And we have that balance with more medium size, like I can't... better for oh. work pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. The maps have their own stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. So happy. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Verdansk's coming back. Oh, zombies. God, I can cry right now. I'm so happy.